since the big Joe herd needs some open these gates. Morning. Good morning, Jackie. Oh my, it's just Jackie. Charlie, chickens. Calves are jazzed up this morning. A little chilly morning. Got some exciting stuff going on around the ranch. Gonna talk to you about these guys today. I know I've been bringing some bison over to the Ponderosa. We're also getting rid of some bison. I'm gonna tell you about that. All right, we made it back to the Ponderosa barn. Something I don't talk about very often to these calves right here. So two of them are from here, born at the Ponderosa. Three of them came from mom and Kevin's. And if you remember me bringing over those three cows that we just brought over and I let out in my recent video, these three babies here are from those three mamas, which is why we were able to bring those mamas over first in the first group because uh, they had their babies at a normal time in May. There's an event coming up. The Missouri Bison Association and the Oklahoma Bison Association have joined together and are doing a sale together. And it is called the Route 66 Bison Roundup and it's gonna take place Saturday, March 11th in Springfield, Missouri. And um, I'm excited about this event. Myself and, and the members of the Oklahoma Bison Association and the Missouri Bison Association have been working uh, together to create a sale have been working together to create a sale for this coming spring and uh, I'm gonna take some animals to it. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some bison to this sale. What I'm looking at taking is Eleanor's bull. He was born in May of 2020, so he's two years old right now, will be three. I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna take two yearlings uh, that we raised that are over here and then I may take a couple more yearlings that are at mom and Kevin's. And uh, I'm excited for this sale. I'm excited as a bison association to work with, with the Missouri Bison Association on this sale. I'm excited to take some of our animals. You know, it, it takes bison so long to, uh, you know, grow up essentially. If you really want to say it, you know, it, bison can't breed until they're two. Then you have to wait till they're old enough to sell, market, um, you know, take for processing. Whatever you want to do with it, it takes time. And, and, and uh, bison are an investment. You have to invest in these bison. Well, we're uh, approaching our fifth year of raising bison, which will be this May. And now it's at the point where we're able to sell some bison. And so I'm excited to, to take some of our animals to this sale. And, and it's kind of one of those deals where it's a, it's a big gathering. Uh, you get to socialize and, and network with lots of people, but, uh, but also people get to bring their animals um, and you kind of get to showcase your animals. And so uh, I really haven't been able to do that. You know, you got to pay the bills too. <laughs> uh, for, uh, for farmers and ranchers, this is a way to pay bills. We have overhead here at the Ponderosa. You know, you've got, I'm a first generation bison farmer. You got land payments. You got to pay for fuel for your skid steer. You got to pay for uh, feed for your bison. You got to pay for a hay. You got to pay for all those things. Uh, you got to pay for new fencing, um, fencing materials, the labor and things like that. Even though we do a lot of labor ourselves, there's a, there's a lot of overhead that takes place on a, on a ranch. And it doesn't matter if it's cattle, bison, horses, uh, sheep, goats, there's, there's always going to be overhead. And for us, it's a land payment, it's uh, feed, and, and those sort of things that are the major overhead for us. So, you know, being a first time a bison uh, rancher, this is, these are the things that you have to uh, deal with if you want to uh, grow. And so uh, we are still in the obvious early stages of this. Um, whole thing and so but it's all part of it it's learning and you work hard and that's what we're trying to do and so part of paying those bills and all that stuff is you got to sell some animals and uh, that's what we got to do so these guys here what we'll do with these calves so what we'll do with these calves we'll keep for a while and we will kind of raise them up to see how they turn out this is a choice you get to make as a bison producer with your calves you can kind of see how they're going to look if they may resemble their mom or their dad and uh, we get to make a decision you know some of these calves i think look really good and so we kind of want to see them grow up we could sell them as calves if we wanted to 
we could sell them as yearlings and then you can also sell them as two-year-old bred heifers or two-year-old bulls so you kind of have, have to make a choice we could keep some of the females in here we could keep some of the bulls and use for processing or you can sell them those are kind of some of the choices that we'll have to face eventually this is the fun part about raising bison is after you've grown a little bit you get to kind of see your production and so i'm excited to see how these guys turn out and i really like the way some of them look i'm really happy with how they look so far and you know once the animals have been in your program for a while it's uh it's nice to kind of see that all that hard work sort of start to pay off now that you've uh, you're seeing the production side of it with your animals so what you're looking at is we've got some big joe babies and then we've got some dunbar babies as well 